I'm going to show you how to securely encrypt files so that no matter where you store them, you can feel confident that no one will be able to view the data. Hey, my name is Wesley, and I create videos about Linux, free software, and related philosophies. Encryption is a way to digitally obscure whatever data you have so that it can only be seen by an intended audience. So let's get right into it. The tool I'm going to use is called GPG. It stands for GNU Privacy Guard. I'll be walking you through how to use GPG to encrypt and decrypt files on the command line. Even if you're not on Linux, you should be able to follow along as long as you have GPG installed on your computer. First, let's encrypt a file by setting a password on it. This is called symmetric encryption. I'm going to start by creating a file called plain.txt, and I want to insert some text. Now I'll run a command that will create a new encrypted version of the file. gpg dash dash symmetric dash dash output and then you specify the file that you want to output it to. We'll call it secret.txt and then the input file plain.txt. So that's going to prompt me for a password. I'll specify a password. It's warning me that this is an insecure password, but I'll go ahead and say that I'll take it anyway. And then it'll ask me to re-enter my password. Now, if I open that new secret file, I can see that it contains a bunch of gobbledygook. This file is now ready to upload to Google Drive or attach to an email. If you're interested in alternatives to Google Drive, I'll post a link to a video that I made talking about an alternative that I use. OK, so we've uploaded the encrypted file. Now what do I do if I want to decrypt the file? Well, we can run a similar GPG command to do the decryption. That command is GPG dash dash decrypt dash dash output, and then you'll specify the output file that you want to create. We'll call this new plain.txt, and then the input file, secret.txt. Okay, pause real quick. Normally, when you're decrypting a symmetrically encrypted file, it'll prompt you for the password again. However, in my case, the password was cached, so I wasn't prompted again. Run that, and that should have created a new plain.txt. If I look at that, I can see the plain text contents of the file. Now, this command will work for any kind of file, not just text files. If you have a spreadsheet with your finances that you don't want to be viewable by anyone else, uh, you can encrypt that file as well. Or if you have a PDF scan of your paychecks, you can do the same there. Now, there's another method of encryption besides symmetric encryption. That other method is called asymmetric encryption. Well, with the first symmetric example, we needed a single key, that was our password, to do both the encryption and decryption. With asymmetric encryption, we're going to need two different keys, one for encryption, another for decryption. GPG allows you to create both of those keys and manage them all from the GPG command. So let's get into it. To create our pair of asymmetric keys in GPG, we need to run the command GPG dash dash generate key. It's going to ask for our name and then an email address. And then it'll ask you to confirm. You can press O to confirm. Then optionally, you can add a passphrase to further protect your private key, which we'll talk about in just a minute. I'm going to leave this blank. Say protection is not needed. This command will generate our key pair. One of them, our encryption key, is called the public key. The other, our decryption key, is called the private key. You should never share your private key with anyone else. And that's because the private key is what allows you to decrypt things, that is to see the contents of the files. Your public key, on the other hand, can be shared with anyone. That's because it's used for encrypting things, taking plain files and making them the gobbledygook. It doesn't really matter if a random internet stranger takes one of their files and makes it into gobbledygook with your public key. In fact, sometimes that's what we want, but I'm getting ahead of myself. After following the steps to generate a key, we can start doing encryption. This time, all we need to do is run gpg-e, that's for encryption, dash o, we'll specify the output file, we'll call it uh, asymmetric uh, secret.txt, and then specify the input file, plain 
app.txt. This time, the command will ask to specify a public key. We need to provide some reference to some public key that can be used for encryption. In this case, I'll provide a reference to the public key I just created. I'll copy this ID and then paste it there. You can also use the email address if you don't want to copy this whole key line here. And then when you're finished, you just hit Enter with an empty line. Great. Now we have an encrypted file. You'll notice it didn't ask for a password, and that's because GPG automatically used our public key, the one for encryption, to encrypt the files. As you can see, the file is now gobbledygook. Now to decrypt the file, we run gpg-d for decrypt, dash o asymplane.txt, and then the input file. GPG automatically used the private key that we have access to in order to decrypt the file. And there you have it. So I mentioned this method is useful when you want to send encrypted files to someone else. So how would you do that? Well, first, you need to give the other person your public key. Remember, public keys can only be used for encryption. They can't decrypt anything. Once they have the public key, they can encrypt things that only your private key can decrypt. So how do you give them your public key? GPG allows you to export your public key. And this is how you do that. You'd run gpg dash dash export dash dash armor dash dash output and then specify public key dot asc and then you'll specify an id to the public key you want to export the dot asc extension is what we usually use for this type of file if you want a deep dive on that file format leave a comment saying so now your public key is ready to send to your friend any files that he encrypts with this public key can only be decrypted by you. Fancy, right? So if you've made it this far in the video and you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now I'm going to be playing the role of your friend. So I'm on a new computer, and I've just received your public key in an email. I can see it right here, publickey.asc. And I want to send you a file that's super secret. So first, I'm going to import your public key into GPG. And I'll do that by running gpg dash dash import and then specify the path to the public key file. I can see that it's imported by running this gpg dash dash list keys command. Now I can encrypt a super secret file with this public key and then send that encrypted version back to you. I hope you found this video helpful. So far, this has been a one-way conversation, so feel free to give me any feedback by liking or disliking this video and maybe subscribing to the channel. See you soon.